Garden birds in the winter sunshine. Last year in the RSPB's big garden bird watch, half a million of us counted over eight million birds. So let's get some tips for this weekend. What are your top tips for how to feed birds, how to get more birds into your garden? Well, I think you have to think of it a bit like a restaurant in your garden. The more different kinds of food you can put out and different kinds of ways you can feed them, then the more different species you're going to attract because not all birds like the same food and not all birds like feeding in the same way. I mean, you can spend a lot on bird food. No, I do. do you, okay. <laughs> but do you have to? Can you not just get away with the cheap stuff? The trouble is a lot of the cheap stuff is bulked out with wheat and really the only species that are going to really like the wheat are the pigeons. So it's worth possibly saving up and spending a little bit more mm. and having a bit more of a gourmet mix because you're going to get a better selection of species. Kate has spotted over 50 different bird species in her garden near Litchfield. The Midlands Garden Watch Top 5, Sparrow, Blue Tit, Starling, Blackbird and Wood Pigeon have all been caught by her cameras, but she records less common visitors too, birds you might see this weekend. Well, one that's always really exciting to get is the woodpecker. And great spotted woodpeckers are an, another species that have taken advantage of our changing in the way we feed. And this year, the whole event has been extended by a day to cover the Monday as well as the weekend. And that means you don't have to do a whole hour in your garden. You could do it on the Monday at work. Garden Bird Watch is our largest citizen science experiment and it provides vital information on how all our garden birds are doing. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minutes Today, Litchfield.